All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash, the modern set of elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to all the I can push this word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word only calls, calls God, and Jehovah, Bahasham, is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name, who the word only calls uh, Jesus. And uh, Rechakodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, this year, Dyer from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago, and I'm back at you with another lesson. Today's lesson is going to be entitled, Our Last Days in Babylon. And uh, recently, you know what, what's been going on, man, it's just, we, we know that the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, he's, he's near, man, you know, he's near, which means our salvation is near, you know, the, the kingdom of heaven is is, is near, you know, it's, it's, it's within grasp, how close we are, man. And, you know, knowing that, man, hey, the men of the Lord are, we are uh, ecstatic. We are rejoicing. We're happy, you know, because we're, 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 uh, we're ready to get out of this predicament, this hell, this punishment, man. We ready for all the goodness of the kingdom of heaven, man. We ready for all of that, man. We ready for these, for these curses to be taken off of us, man. Ready to get that chip off our shoulder, man. So, hey, with, in the midst of everything that's going on, you know, this is just another sign, a testament to the times that we're living in. Which is the end of the world, which, which which entails, you know, the kingdom of heaven being ushered in, you know. But without further ado, this is Isaiah 51 and 14. It says, The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loose, and that he shall not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail. And hey, right now, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which are the Israelites of the Bible, along with our scattered brethren amongst other nations that look like the other nations, you all are that captive, you know. You are captives, man. You know, you are the slaves, you know, this, this, this you are uh, in, in different lands under captivity by these heathens, man. When, that, when it's like in actuality, you are the Israelites, you know, your homeland is in the land of Israel, you know, and our position is above these these uh, nations. But nevertheless, due to, you know, rebellion on our behalf, we are brought down to this lowest state, this hell, you know, we are. Uh, become that captive right and it says exile because hey we've been exiled you know we've been taken from our land man so hey this this is talking about us you israelites man it says the captive the captive exile hasten if that he may be loose man and you hasten something you you ready to get out of it, you know you you urge you in an urgency you know you get what i'm saying it says and that he shall not die in the pit nor that his bread shall fail and hey we ready to get the hell out of babylon and great man you know, hey, you know, the scriptures do talk about some men being martyrs and, and that's for the kingdom of heaven. So what? You know, but hey, we're, we're trying to get out of here. We're not trying to be here forever, man. You know, and, and this is the same righteous mindset mindset that the men of the Lord back in the ancient biblical days, you know, in the times of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, they had the same thing. This is Acts 1 and 6 it says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him saying, Lord, Yahweh Shai, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel, man? So, hey, the, the apostles, you know, they were ready back then for the kingdom of heaven to come back, you know, while they were ca uh, uh, under captivity, you know. So even then, you know, that 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 yearning for the kingdom of heaven, for us to be out of this estate was it was there, you know, it was present, man. You know, this is a uh, second edge six and verse nine. It says for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow of man. So, hey, we know that we're at the end of the world because we have Esau, Edom, Esau, Edom. You know, the so-called Caucasian, the Edomite of the Bible, he's ruling, man. And, hey, we know that at the end of his rule, is gonna be, the next rulership is going to be the kingdom of heaven. Uh, you know, uh, the nation of Israel ruling, man. You know, so, hey, we ready for that, man. It's in Psalms 102 and 13. It says, For thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, you Israelites. Yea, the set time is coming. Hey, we in a time that the Lord is about to... uh show very great mercy and favor to the nation of israel the elect first and then the rest you know the lord is about to save his elect man it says yea the set time is come man and i was i came across this reading you know doing my read a few days ago man and it, it hit me man because it, it's deep it says the set time so hey this is the time considering how everything just happened within the last what two months we see that we see the time that the lord is on you know and then the time is salvation, man, which in, which goes into the destruction of our enemies, man. You know, the breaking down of these kingdoms, you know, to, to establish the kingdom of heaven, man. So, hey, we are we are we are psyched, man. 
It's a Baruch 4 and 21. It says, Be of good cheer, O my children, cry unto Yahweh, and he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. It says, For my hope is in the everlasting, that he will save you, and joy is coming to me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. So, hey, that, that mercy is, is coming really soon, man. You know, is 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 within reach. It says, for I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the most high will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. So, hey, you know, we, we came here on slave ships, you know, but guess what? We finna leave in spaceships, man. And that mourning and that crying, man, all this finna get taken away, man. You know, all the curses finna get taken off of us. It's, it's beautiful, man. It says, uh, verse 24, like as now the neighbors of Sion have seen your captivity, so shall they see surely your salvation from our power which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. So just as all these different uh, uh, heathens then, then saw us uh, in our various captivities, man, in his last captivity looked so down upon us, just as they seen the bad that we went through, they finna see the, the goodness that we finna get, you know? They finna see the kingdom of heaven that we finna get, man. They finna see the upgrades that we finna get, man, you know? Verse 25, it says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So, hey, we've been suffering patiently, man. Hey, the Lord, we're at the end of the we're at the end of our punishment, man. You know, so hey, what that what that shows is that hey, we're finna be ruling, man. The enemy that persecuted us is finna go down and pay for what they did to us, man. You know, the kingdom of heaven is is right here, man. Revelation 12 and verse 10, it says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his uh, Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And hey, we, we're entering to the, we're in the times in which Esau is exposing himself. You know, the men of the Lord have been, you know, exposing him through the spirit of the Lord. You know, but you got his own whistleblowers exposing them, man. You know, they're looking real weak. Compared to these other nations, man, you know, it's uh, many skirmish, skirmishes, you know, going on. It says, uh, reading on, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. So, hey, it's written that the, that we're going to overcome. It's written that the kingdom of heaven is, is, is here, man, you know. Lamentations 4 and 22, it says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. And what was that? Our, our captivity, man. It says, O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. So, hey, the Lord is getting ready to return our captivity, man. He's getting ready to take back our captivity, man. He's getting ready to take those curses off of us, save us, man. Take us out of out of out of out of a damn two story, three story homes, man. You know, fifteen hundred square feet homes, man. Never ending jobs, man. Filling our cars with gas. All the Lord is getting ready to take us, save us from out of all that, man. Right? It says, uh, uh, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. So, hey, the Lord is getting ready to punish all the heathen, and especially the ones that's ruling now. Esau, Esau, Edom, man. The devil of the Bible. Bible. <laughs> so, like you. Verse, uh, this is like, this is Matthew 13 and 17. And, hey, what a time to be alive. It says, for verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. And hey, we're we're in the uh, that generation in which we will see our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. We're 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 in that generation, you know, all, of, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, uh, in a book of Ezekiel, I think it's like the 12th chapter tells you that uh, our people. You know, they got those, uh, basic, they say basically not in our lifetime. No, this this is in our lifetime. You know, the, the, all this, everything, all these prophecies ain't just happening just to, you know, calm down. You know, go dial for a couple years and then. No, they happening because they we're in the time of the Lord, man. You know, it's beautiful. Uh, so Rock 25 and 7, it says, There be nine things which I have judged and my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And they, the men of the, the men of the Lord, the righteous men of the Lord, we are ecstatic right now because we're seeing Esau Edom fall, man. From all that power that he once had, you know, he's falling step by step, getting exposed here and there. 
you know, and, and ultimately the Lord is just going to come back and, and completely humble them, man. And with, with, with the Lord coming back and humbling them, their destruction is our salvation, man. So it's a win-win for the men of the Lord, and it's, it's going to happen, man. You know, we see it now. It's Revelation 21 and 4, and we'll just leave it right here. It says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, man. And we're soon approaching this. Like, we, this is actually finna happen, man. These are our last days in Babylon. I, I can't tell you these, you know, in the next three days we finna get, I don't know that, you know. Of course, it's still prophecies, man, but hey, we're, we're, these are our last few, <laughs> I can't really, you know, verbalize it, but these are our last couple days, you know, last, last few times in Babylon, man, you know, and after this, all this is going to be passed away, man. We ain't going to have to wake up to a damn alarm and have to go and work for our enemy that's below us. We're not going to have to wake up, you know, be oppressed by our women, by our children, you know, by our own people. We're not going to have to go to these uh apartment buildings no more live amongst our own people stacked on stacked on stacked on stacked on houses and houses we're not gonna have to live that way no more man a whole new age is is gonna come man just like th this age right now you know you got the rulership of the heathens man we finna enter into a new age uh, it's just gonna be righteousness man you know and i can't look forward to it you know i i i cannot i'm ready for it you know i i can't wait you know but, hey, you know, Lord willing, you know, we got to continue to endure to get that crown, you know. So, hey, Lord willing, this was a uh, edifying uh, exhortation. Lord willing, you know, it boosted some of you, Aki, him up. So, hey, I'm going to just go ahead and end it out right there. Call, lie, him, lie. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to all the Aki and pushing this word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Shalom and Abad, Babal.